Hi, Taurus. Welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. Or welcome back if you're returning. And thank you so much if you are. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, if you're new, I also appreciate you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Uh, if the reading does not resonate with you, please check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs. You might find something there. If it does resonate, be sure to hit the thumbs up because I do a bonus reading for the sign that gets the most likes every month. And then I choose from the comments of the bonus reading someone to give away a free private reading to. So definitely hit that thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it. Uh, also, if you're new, you'll notice that I use my pendulum to determine the direction of the cards. I don't just take the reversals as they come out. Keep in mind, the reading is general, so it's not going to resonate with every single Taurus out there, but it will a good amount of you, and you'll know if it's your story. You can mix and match the energies between you and your person of interest. Um, gender is not an issue here. It's a matter of masculine and feminine energies rather than male and female gender. It's not gender. It's energy. Um... And also, I am focusing on love and romance, but if this reading resonates with you uh, in regards to a relationship with a non-romantic relationship, then take it. If, you know, you can remove the romantic connotations and fit your story, If you know, but you just won't have to force it, basically, is the bottom line, right? Also, I'm focusing on July 2020, but it is meant to be timeless. If you're watching this reading 10 years from now and it resonates with yours, if you're drawn to the title, that's like a very good indicator that it, it's for you. You, you know, um, there's something, either a transit or something. I mean, it doesn't have to only just be, you know, your your core signs, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I mean, for whatever reason, the title could resonate with you, okay? So, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. This is for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of July 2020, but really timeless. I'm just doing the reading in July, all right? So, let's see what's going on between you and your person of interest. Are the top eight cards the correct cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2020? And is the card at the bottom of the deck the overall energy? All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right, so what do we have at the bottom of the deck? We have Judgment, Scorpio, Taurus, Axis, okay, because this is Scorpio energy, upright or reversed, Judgment. Yeah, so you could have a very heavy decision on your mind this month, Taurus, or you could certainly be seeing a return from someone from your past, okay? So, I mean, obviously, this is a relationship spread, and it's about somebody that you're you're already currently dealing with or about to deal with or have dealt with in the past. So I would say this is probably about somebody from your past, but it doesn't mean it's somebody that you were like in a very serious commitment with. It could just be somebody that the past could be within the last month. Okay. But it, whatever happened, something happened that separated you from this person. And so it looks like you may be coming back together, but it could just be about you guys making a very important decision right now. Okay. Let's see how you're feeling about your person. The King of Pentacles, there's your energy. You're like, yeah, I want stability. All right, and I'm not going to settle for anything less, right? Let's see. Upright or reversed, the king of pentacles. Yep, and you're not feeling it from this person, okay? So the king of pentacles is your energy. It is very solid, stable, and, you know, it's ready. It's an energy of being very ready to settle down or already settled down. This is in the reverse. So this is how you feel about your person. So I feel like it's this is how you're seeing them. You feel that they are just not stable. They are just not offering you the stability that Taurus needs, right? Taurus needs stability. It's probably the most important thing to Taurus besides those sensual pleasures. <laughs> I'm a Taurus moon, so I know all about it. <laughs> all right. So how is your person seeing you or perceiving your energy? The star? That's Aquarius energy, upright or reverse the star. Ooh, they see, they don't think there's any hope. They've lost hope in this connection. Or uh, it doesn't mean they, or they see that you have lost hope. This is how they see you are perceiving your energy. So they're feeling like you've had it, you're done. There's no more hope. You, you're out of 
fucks. They're out of chances, <laughs> you, you know? Uh, that's what I'm getting there. Um, let's see how they're feeling about you. The Four of Cups? I feel that this is them probably... Hold on. Upright or reverse the Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel like they want to reach out to you in some way, offer something, even if it's just communication, but I think they're afraid. Right now, Taurus uh, ain't playing. That's what I'm feeling. Taurus ain't playing right now, and they're fearing uh, rejection because they don't see that there's any hope. And you're like, no, you're not stable. You're flighty. You're you know sketchy. You're out of here. All right? So then in the past... What happened? The Ace of Cups. Hmm. Upright or reverse the Ace of Cups. Okay, so it looks like love started to bloom in this connection in the past, but I feel that it was very new. Obviously, I feel like this is a rather new connection. It, it could be somebody that you dealt with for many, many years or separated from many years ago and it renewed. It certainly could be that, a, a, new, a renewal you had re recently, if you recently reconciled with this person and now you're finding yourself in this uh, weird place again. It could certainly be that, but uh, I just feel that love was starting to bloom. This cup is the beginning of love. It's a seed of love that started to grow, but it, it needs to be nurtured in order to actually grow. So I feel like the spark was there, the, the seed was there, but, you know, I, I don't know if nothing, if it just didn't go anywhere, but I feel like there was a foundation of love or some sort of emotion laid, and we'll get clarifiers to find out what happened after that. So what is the current energy in this connection? The King of Swords. Okay, so I feel... Upright or reverse, the King of Swords. Now, remember, we have judgment in your overall energy. And I did say that you may have a very important decision to make. So I feel that that's what this energy is, is that, Taurus, you and most likely your person as well are doing a lot of thinking about this connection right now. You may have poker faces on and not be letting each other know uh, how you're really feeling. You're keeping those kind of under wraps. I feel like there's a chill in the air here in this connection. But you're definitely thinking heavily and trying to use your head over your heart to make a decision regarding this connection. Okay. Now, what are they most likely to do? What is the energy they're bringing your way? The hanged man? Pisces energy? All right. Upright or reversed? The hanged man. So they're keeping you hanging. They're leaving you hanging. You're in love limbo right now, Taurus, uh, with this hanged man. There's a delay here. I feel your person, again, you're both doing a lot of thinking, but I think your person is really doing a lot of thinking. And I think that the universe is also working on your person. This is a major arcana. And I feel that, uh, you know, we have Neptune in Pisces right now in retrograde. So that makes people have wake up calls. That right there, Neptune retrograde is a wake up call. Um, like, because when Neptune is going direct, it can have a very dreamy effect on life and put those rose colored glasses on us and also just kind of muddy the waters so we can't see things very clearly. When it goes retrograde, it like rips those rose colored glasses right off. It like really like gives a person a wake up call, right? So a ch this is a change of perspective energy. So I feel like your person is uh, possibly having an awakening to something regarding this connection, Taurus. Okay, so we'll get clarifiers and see what else there. But what's your advice when dealing with them? Ooh, with the Emperor. <laughs> Stand your ground, Taurus. Upright or reverse, the Emperor. Yes, 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 yes. So, you know, you're like, uh-uh. I want something stable or nothing at all. You're not about that, you know, wishy-washy bullshit, right? So, yeah, stand your ground, okay? Maintain control, Taurus. All right, you are in control right now. Know that you do have the power. I feel the ball is in your court. And, uh, you know, s stick to your resolve. You, you may have put this person out for a reason, and it doesn't mean that you can't bring this person back. That's not what this is saying. This is saying make sure that if this person is trying to come back, that your needs are met or your desires are met. You need to have a negotiation with this person and be like, no, these are the things I can't compromise on. I'm sorry. Okay. And stand your ground as far as that goes. If this person tries to come back with bullshit, uh-uh, you're not having it. Right? So what is the most likely outcome for this connection in July of 2020 or thereabouts whenever you're watching this video? I will get clarifiers. So this is preliminary, the queen of swords. Okay. So we have a king and a queen of the same suit on deck here. So you know what that means. 
There are only 78 cards in this deck. I am using one deck at this time, and there are only nine cards out here out of 78. Statistically, I'm not a masterminder or anything, but I have talked to some masterminds, and uh, they said that the odds of that happening are very low. Uh, so, I mean, obviously we know that it means something when a king and queen of the same suit come out in the same spread, especially when it's one of only nine cards here out of the same deck. All right, so that means soulmate energy, basically, people. This is somebody you're dealing with. You're supposed to learn lessons from this person. They're triggering you. They're pushing you. You're pushing them in different ways and triggering them. It may feel like it's only them triggering you, but I promise it's not. All right? Upright or reversed, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so I will need more cards to decide. For some of you, this could absolutely be that you're cutting this person out. You've just had it. You're done. You're not putting up with any more bullshit. You're done. You've had your fill. But for some of you, it could be that you're just going to communicate some your your demands, <laughs> no, whatever you want to call them. You're going to communicate your requirements or needs, wants, desires, whatever, effectively and clearly to this person. And you're not going to compromise. And I don't feel like it's an energy of you're not going to compromise because you're just an unreasonable person. It's not about that. It's about you are at your wit's end with this person. You know what you want. And you are not going to settle and on certain things and you need to make that very clear to this person that if they want to move forward with you in a connection they're going to have to meet these specific standards of yours and there is absolutely nothing wrong with having standards it's very encouraged it's encouraged here at scarlet phoenix tarot for you to have standards male or female this is not one-sided there could be some of you uh guys out there that are struggling with a female that is, uh, you know, resistant to being, you know, in a commitment or stability or whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify these cards and see where this goes. Spirit, please clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2020. Two cards of clarification each on each position, please, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July of 2020 or thereabouts Okay, Spirit, are the top 16 cards the correct cards to accurately clarify the ones that are already laid out for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July of 2020? And are the two cards at the bottom of the deck the overall energy? Perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. I just said Soulmate. That's the Six of Cups. Upright or reverse, the Six of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so Taurus, I feel you have somebody coming from your past, whether it is recent past, you know, or distant past. This person is coming back. You've thought a lot about this person. You miss this person, Taurus, and I believe they miss you, and they're coming back uh, to try to resurrect this. They're going to offer you that stability, I feel, Taurus. That's the overall energy. Now, okay, I shouldn't say they're going to. I should say they're very heavily considering it, Taurus, but free will is a real thing and people can change their minds. So Spirit's basically making this prediction based on the odds, based on the way your person has been thinking, pulling those energies based on the way you've been thinking and, you know, also the astrology that's involved. They There's a bunch of different factors. I feel that Spirit takes them all into account and gives us a prediction. That's how I kind of see it, right? So this is the overall energy of the connection. You're both missing each other. You're both wanting reconciliation. You're both wanting to move forward in a stable uh, commitment, I feel. Okay, so now, but you are, you have dealt with a lot with this person, I feel, and you're, you're not settling for anything less than that stability. Page of Swords clarifying the King of Pentacles in reverse with the Hierophant. There's your energy again. It's interesting that for how you feel about this person, both Taurus cards came up, or two of the Taurus cards. 
Upright or reverse the Page of Swords. <coughs> and the Hierophant. Yeah, so I feel that you do want to communicate with this person and you're you're observing. Right now I feel like you are in observant, uh, observatory mode, okay? But I do feel like you want to communicate with this person. You're going over the conversation that you want to have in the future with this person in your head. This conversation is about the stability of this connection. I feel like you're going to say, listen, this is I want a real relationship or nothing at all. And it doesn't mean that you're going to demand marriage or anything like that, Taurus. I mean, for some of you, you might be. You might, if you've been in a connection for years and this person, you know, is still as resistant to marriage and that's what you want, then it may be it. you give them an ultimatum. I feel like that's what's coming here, that this is a real thing, that no more one foot in, one foot out kind of stuff. You want real stability, right? And you want to communicate that to them, but you're thinking about what you want to say, I feel. All right, now how are they seeing you or perceiving your energy? You may not be communicating that much. The Eight of Cups. The Knight of Wands. Upright or reverse the Eight of Cups. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, they see you as walking out. They don't see any hope here. They think that you have left the building, and maybe you have, Taurus, uh, emotionally, right? You're detaching, and uh, they feel like there's no hope, and it's because they know that they were unstable. They're like, no, you know, they know that you're walking out because you want stability. For me, the Knight of, the Knight of Wands in reverse, it can mean a few things, but for me, a lot of times in these love readings, it means the opposite of this uh, Don Juan energy, this player energy. Uh, you know, when I first started reading tarot, I, you know, had a conversation with spirit, a few different ones, you know, about the reversals and whatever, which is why I use the pendulum anyway, um, about the reversals there. They definitely come out wrong sometimes, which is why I use the pendulum. But also, you know, there are these, you know, regular meanings that you can find when you're studying tarot, whatever, but you also have to go with your intuition. My intuition always told me that the exact opposite of what the right upright meaning means is uh, very often what it means in the reverse and spirit confirmed that for me. And uh, it's not always, you can use those other meanings, but I feel, you know, I use, it's, I have, you have to use your intuition, obviously. That's part of reading tarot. So in the, um, how they feel about you, they are fearing rejection, Taurus, the seven of cups. I feel they're confused, maybe dreaming, uh, and the hanged man how they feel. Wow. I think their feelings are changing, Taurus. We have a hanged man here twice. Upright or reversed the seven of cups and the hanged man. Yeah, they may be having an awakening. Maybe you're giving them a wake up call by pulling back your energy here the way you have. Uh, I mean, they're perceiving you as walking away. So I assume that you did something to make them think that you must have walked out or just withdrawn your energy, Taurus, and they're getting it. Okay, they are getting it. They're fearing rejection. They're feeling very confused, probably uh, doing a lot of daydreaming about you. Uh, and I feel they're, they're just doing a lot of thinking right now. They are stuck. They are stuck as in regards to how they feel. I think that they are, like I said, very confused. They have multiple mixed emotions, mixed feelings about the connection, mixed feelings about whether it could work, whatever. But they are also still fe fearing that rejection. They want to offer something, but they just, they, I don't know if they can see a way forward right now. And they're, so they're stuck, right? And until they're going to be stuck because they're stuck because the universe stuck them. This is a major arcana, okay? This is not like Eight of Swords stuck. I mean, I'm sure that that energy is in there, trust me. But this is, or, or Chariot in reverse stuck. This is, which that would still be the same, honestly, because it's divine. It's major arcana. This is Hanged Man stuck, which means that they are meant to be stuck here, Taurus. They are meant to be thinking and stuck right now, right where they are, so that they can have a change of perspective. They're being shown things from different angles. They need a chance to wonder why is Taurus withdrawing their energy from me you know why what they're replaying events in their head why what happened what did I say what did I do you know that made Taurus want to leave and withdraw their energy from me they're they're having a wake-up call probably about their behavior of some sort okay now um what happened in the past love was born love was born Taurus the sun 
Leo energy. And the tower. Ooh. Oh boy, you had a tower moment, huh? Or maybe more than a moment. Upright or reverse the sun. Upright or reverse the tower. I feel like there was an eye-opening moment, Taurus. You were all of a sudden illuminated about something. There was definitely love, and I think everything was probably also looking really good. Things were going great, and then all of a sudden it was like the blindfold was ripped off your eyes, and you saw something about this person that you hadn't like really, really noticed before or in the same way, and you're like, what? And now that's why like maybe you saw that they were just still not offering the stability and you were just like i gotta you know i gotta cut my losses and and walk it's time to walk right so i think that you you had some sort of illuminating moment um even though things were really going well and love you do love this person i do feel that and it may not have been you maybe it was them but i feel like it was you because you're walking away or they see you as walking away and they're stuck right now so <clears throat> I feel like it was you that had some sort of epiphany, honestly, Taurus. All right. So now what is the current energy, you guys? I think you have your poker faces on. You're doing a lot of thinking and decision-making mode. The Page of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Upright or reverse the Page of Wands. Upright or reverse the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's no communication right now. Definitely no light communication, no flirty communication, no playful communication. It's very serious if there's any communication at all because you guys are in decision-making mode. I think you, you brought the tower down on this person <clears throat> and uh, you're just weighing out the pros and cons. But it's not just you, Taurus. It's them too. This is the current mutual energy. You're both weighing out the uh, pros and cons of this connection and trying to weigh your options. Basically, what do you want to do going forward? This is very serious. Uh, like the fun stuff. It's almost like all of a sudden like fun time is over, <laughs> you know, right now. Okay. There's definitely a pause on the fun. Um, <clears throat> what are they most likely to do? They're stuck right now. And uh, spirit is trying to show them something with that hanged man energy. The world... And the Six of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Upright or Reverse Spirit, the world. And the Six of Wands. Okay, so... I feel they have, that they have a feeling of unfinished business with this world card in reverse. Okay, I do feel like, like I said, the universe is working on them right now, uh, trying to show them something. They do have a feeling of unfinished business, and I do feel that they will come forward. I feel this is actually them coming forward and finally giving you some kind of recognition that you've been waiting for for a while. Uh, Maybe even a public recognition in some way. Uh, but they're definitely, or they're going to do something try, to try to get your attention. They definitely want a victory here, Taurus. They want to win you over. I feel they're going to come back and try to win you over. Okay. Now, your advice when dealing with this person, uh, I'm not playing, okay? That's going to be what Taurus says. I'm not playing anymore. Okay. So... I mean, if they've been giving you this right here, this Knight of Wands stuff, that's the fire and ice energy, okay? That's what I'm calling the fire and ice energy from now on, right? This is coming on like a flame and then turning a cold shoulder, right? Like, I don't know, a lot of you guys are probably too young to know that song. It's Pat Benatar, okay, from the 80s, fire and ice. You come on like a flame and then you turn a cold shoulder. So I think you're tired of that freaking act from this person, okay? And uh, you've uh, finally reached your limit and you've pulled back your energy and they want to come back and win it back. But you're being told, stand your ground. You're not putting up with that anymore. All right. So what's clarifying that emperor? The wheel of fortune. Interesting. And the seven of pentacles. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Upright or reverse the wheel of fortune and the seven of pentacles. Taurus, I I'm, this is fun. This is so fun. Because I just heard, just wait. Just wait, Taurus. Just wait. Stand your ground. 
Just wait. The universe has something up its sleeve for you, Taurus. Just wait. Okay, this is fantastic news. The the Wheel of Fortune there in your advice is telling you change is coming. Okay, so just keep doing what you're doing, Taurus. Just stick to your guns, okay, because the change is coming. You just wait. You just wait. All right? You you just wait and watch the circus that's about to come, come on you. <laughs> All right? Something's coming back. They're coming back. And they're coming back hard, I feel, because they're, they're definitely wanting a win here. Okay, so you've got your sword out, Taurus. Capricorn also had their uh, sword out. Let's see. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords in the, your uh, outcome. We have the Seven of Wands and the Two of Wands. Ooh. Well, upright or reverse, the Seven of Wands... And the two of wands. Well, Taurus, you are at the crossroads. This person, I feel something is going on in the sky. Something is going to transit this person's chart or your chart or something with these right here. This right here is spirits telling you to stand your ground. Something is coming. I feel like it's going to be a transit that's going to literally. I had something happen in my life recently, Taurus, where literally it was like that. The day of the trade, like something like. It was so out of the blue, and I was like, oh my god, we literally just had today, it was a specific aspect that I, literally, it happened that instantaneously. Okay, so, I feel there's a shift coming, Taurus, and you just need to wait it out, stick to your guns in the meantime, but you are, when this person comes back, they are coming, they're in it to win it, and uh, you're going to have to decide if you want to continue to put energy into this connection. This is about being determined and it is about fighting for something it can be about defensiveness so there can be an argument that's coming okay and this argument could put you in a position anyway you're already i feel at a position of crossroads energy but i feel you're going to have a conversation or an argument that's going to really put you at the crossroads where you're, you're going to have to decide make a decision uh, about this person we will get more on this outcome in the extended uh which is what i forgot to mention at the beginning of the reading is that if you want a private reading with me, you can find the, my email address in the description box below the video, but you can also find there the link to my Patreon page, which is uh, where I'll upload an extended version of this reading, uh, like I do all the 12 Zodiac signs. You can get access to those, all 12 of them, for just $3.33. So I'm going to be looking more into uh, how your person feels about you, what their most likely next move is, your outcome, and get you some more advice with the tarot and oracle cards if you want to follow me over to Patreon. Otherwise, if this is where we part ways, good luck. I uh, wish you all the best in your decision making, and I hope you have a beautiful, blessed July. Stay safe, healthy, and sane, and I'll check you back in August. Bye, Taurus.